Hi guys, welcome back. When I uploaded that little video clip as part of the short break <clears throat> 8 um, video, a lot of people asked me how did I do that. So I thought I'd show you how I did it. Just need one drone video clip and that's all you're going to need for this effect. <clears throat> and it's very, very simple and anyone can do this. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to put in the fireball that happens once the lightning strikes. So I'm going to position that around about four seconds, that'll do. And then what I have to do, I, I want to trim this off because I don't need it all. Um, so I just want to get it from where it starts and then where the explosion ends. I don't need the black smoke that's going to rise. It's too small to see it. So I'm just going to trim it off about there to where it ends. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to scale it down. Yeah, something like that for now. And then just put it in the area where I want it. And I'm going to go to 200% uh, so I can see what I'm doing. And then um, now I'm going to position it and scale it. And I want it to go in that, oops, I want it to go in that little gap between the two trees and want it to emanate from there. So yeah, that looks good, that's about right. Um, so there, for that little bit is done. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to need is my lightning strike. Uh, this is a green screen that I, was, I found online and it's very easy to find these things. Um, and so basically, uh, I just downloaded it um, and it, it serves the purpose, but it's a bit long, so I'm going to just find the piece of the lightning strike that I want. And yeah, I think it's about there. So we'll trim it to there. And what I'm going to do now is because um, the piece of lightning I want to strike is at the beginning, I want it to be at the end. So I've just reversed the clip. Um, so that the main lightning strike is at, actually at the end of the clip. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to key that out. Um, so I actually only have the lightning strike. So let's have a look what we've got. And let's find the end of the lightning strike. And now I'm going to move it into position because I want it to strike somewhere around there. And that looks about right. Um, yeah, it looks about right. But now I need to move the fireball so that it begins at exactly the same time as that lightning strike. Well, that actually looks quite good. It's not far off at all. Okay, so having got that into position now, um, I'm going to put my fire in. This is something that I found online again. Um, it's already keyed out this, um, similar to the fireball. So there's no, I don't need to use the keyer. And we're just going to position the fire. I also want to flip it, that'll do. Um, so that the fire will be in the right place. Um, yeah, so Okay, so what I'm going to do is scale it down a little bit and rotate it so that it actually lies flat on the little piece of ground there. And that, that's pretty good. And now we'll position it so that I've got it at the end of that, that particular piece of land. And the main strike then is around about where the fireball was on the lightning strike. Okay, so when we have a look back at that now, um, well, it looks pretty good, but unfortunately, as you can see, um, the fire, as the drone moves, the fire is changing position, and we need to keep it locked in the same position. And so basically, we're just going to add two uh, key points, one at the beginning, we found the first frame, add a key point on the position, uh, trim the, the, the clip back to meet the uh, main clip, and then we're going to find the final frame, 
and we're just going to take the fire and we're going to drag that over we'll just drag it over um, until we pos we got it as we want at the end and you can see all the uh, it's automatically updated the keyframes so now when we play that back you can see that the fire actually now stays in the same position which is exactly what we want so now we just have um, just a few more things to do um, we're going to add our cloud layers uh, these are just um, some cloud PNGs that I um, downloaded easily from the internet uh, these are royalty free and you can find these quite simply we'll just scale that up to match the size of the clip and we're going to position the clouds now um, so that I got those exactly where I want. The sky is a bit too blue so I decided to put these nasty looking clouds into the frame. I'll lower the opacity because I don't want it too full on and um, we'll add our second our second cloud which is where the, the lightning is going to come from and we're just going to scale that up to um, match the size of the clip and we'll position that one as well and we're going to put it on top put the clouds on top of the lightning strike um, so that the lightning actually comes from behind them so we'll position the cloud now and we're just going to lower the opacity again so that it's not too in your face but I'm going to go to um, for this one I'm going to go to my color board and the exposure and I'm just going to reduce the exposure a little bit which makes it a little darker um, just maybe play with the highlights and now we have a nice dark cloud in the foreground and we'll just just play with it until you're happy where that the position is right okay so having done the clouds let's have a look at what we've got yeah that looks pretty good everything seems to be working nicely that looks pretty good so now we're just going to um, add a little bit of blur to both the fire fireball and the fire because they're a little bright so we uh, a little sharp so we just want to add a little bit of focus blur um, and we're going to adjust the amount of blur that you have and just bring it down until you're happy that it looks okay. We'll do exactly the same, a little bit of focus blur and play with the um, amount of blur that you have until it looks okay. Okay, and now finally for the fire, it is a bit bright, so we want to um, help that to blend a little more. So we're just gonna reduce the um, opacity of the fire a little bit. You just play with it until you're happy and we'll do the same with the other one and yeah that looks that looks okay to me just play with that until you've got it as you want it okay do the same with the other one okay so let's have a look at what we've got how is that looking now looks pretty good but the transitions are, the, um, are not great between the, uh, the clips coming in and out so we're going to add a bit of cross dissolve and we don't need the beginning one and we'll add a bit of cross dissolve to the other one we don't need that to fade out but I am going to uh, pull the uh, cross dissolve all the way to the end because I don't want it to um, fade in all the way so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the thunderclap and position the thunderclap and we're going to trim it down and then fade that out and we're just going to add a little bit of music um, to make it a little bit more dramatic and then we'll do the same, we'll trim that and then we will fade the music out at the end of the clip and that's it it's pretty much done 
Um, so let's have a look what we've got, and that should look pretty good now. Everything seems to be working just fine now, and we've got things fading in nicely rather than being very sharp when they're coming in. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, so go and download some lightning and some other stuff and um, see what you can come up with. It's a really very simple thing to do, um, and if you found that this was useful to you then please give us a great big thumbs up and uh, don't forget um, to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to receive notifications if you love drones or you like editing in um, Final Cut Pro 10 okay uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at Phil's Drone Zone and um, that's really it for this video um, hope you enjoyed it, and all that remains to be said is, see you all again.